Welcome everybody to today's vlog. Well, I guess you'd say 2018's vlog. Um, I'm sorry about the poor video quality of this particular vlog because this is actually a recording of an old vlog from May 11th, 2018 in Plumtree Plaza, Bravo, Utah. Okay, now as you can see, we are kind of in the, let's say, I'd say the western side of the plaza, looking into Main Street Pizza, Jimmy John's, and Cold Stone. And I find it kind of interesting that this particular Main Street Pizzeria was closed because every single time I drove by, it was always busy. We're looking at towards the BYU campus, and that's exactly why I thought that this particular restaurant would always be busy because BYU is so close. Day nights here are usually Friday nights, and pizza is a very popular entree or a popular dish for college students. Now this right here is the former site of Les Schwab Tire Co. And this particular location has been closed the entire time that my wife and I have lived here in Utah. They finally demolished it towards the end of 2017, very beginning of 2018, and it has laid vacant just like this ever since. Now we're coming up on this Brazos Mexican Grill. I had never been here before. Before this was a Mexican Grill, it was a Greek souvlaki restaurant. I'd never been there either before. And I just find it kind of interesting because at the time I filmed this vlog, I had never seen this many customers at this particular location. Even to this day, the very begin even to this day, the very beginning of 2019, I don't think I've ever seen that many cars at that place. So I just find it interesting. Now this is my favorite part of Plumtree Plaza, is this movie theater. When my wife and I moved here in 2009, May of 2009, we used to go here all the time. <laughs> and I like the, uh, the aluminum foil cover right here. <laughs> Anyways, today's day is January 15th, 2019, and this particular theater closed in March of 2017. So it's been going on two years of it being closed. I really, really, really wish that they would renovate this this movie theater because it was so inexpensive. A lot of college students would go here. A lot of college students from both BYU Brigham Young University and UVU Utah Valley University, they would come here on dates and it was a nice, cheap, inexpensive date for people to go on. Now this little empty lot right here was kind of interesting. And right, still right next to where the theater is at. Um, it, when my wife and I first moved here, the name of the restaurant was still called I Buffet, but we never, ever, ever saw anybody there. It was just interesting. And then it became like a dance hall, and like for like a, it was like a place where you would go and celebrate quinceañeras and you know birthdays and stuff like that. And right here is actually the old Shopco building. I do think that they are going to repurpose this building, but I have no confirmation of that yet. I just found the name on the side of this truck pretty interesting. Heck, is it water for white water rafting or what? What are they, what are they doing here? <laughs> Now this building over here, you can see the end of it, and it looks like it part of it had been demolished. It's true, uh, that building used to connect to the old Shopco building, but it, everything in between where the Cafe Rio is and the left side of the screen, you can see it, all the way to where the Shopco was, was one entire building. And here's a shot of the other sign, the billboard of all the stores that are there. And I hope everybody is enjoying today's vlog. 
thank you everybody for watching today's vlog and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell thank you very much for doing so bye